The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be discussing the inflated video game market. Is it here to stay? I know many of you have been watching the video game market and seeing collectibles and items and physical copies of games go for ridiculous amounts of money. And it's been happening for a while, and I've had a lot of people reach out and discuss with me, hey, what do you think of this? Uh, what do you think of the market? And I thought I'd do a video talking about my thoughts about the current state of the video game market, especially when you're talking about like physical copies of games and just in general, the sales that have been skyrocketing this last, you know, approximately year and a half. And so I think first and foremost, it's important to note that more and more people are connected to video games. You know, more and more people have grown up with, you know, various consoles and computers. It's not just something for kids anymore. Video games are discussed and played by adults and kids alike. Different consoles, different games, everything from, you know, on your mobile phone to, you know, a classic computer at home, Commodore 64, Atari, Nintendo, Xbox, you name it, PlayStation. You have your favorites, I have mine, and they're great memories. They're, 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 they're things we think about, things that we want to play. Uh, it's also a big business, okay? When people remember something, they want to revisit it, and when they want to revisit it, they want to purchase something, and there's several businesses out there to cater to people that want to relive a memory, uh, nostalgia, uh, entertainment, something uh, for everybody, you know, whether it's uh, clothing, whether it's uh, a gaming accessory, a controller, uh, a mod, something to uh, to to celebrate, uh, something positive in in your life that you remember about video games. You know, that's that's unique and different for everyone. the The video game industry is surging for various reasons. First and foremost, you know, we've we've gone through a, a terrible pandemic that shut down several other industries. You know, I can think of three. I could think of sports, I could think of travel, and I also can think of, you know, the movie industry. While you can still watch movies at home, you know, going out to a show, you know, that's been shut down. That's been shut down and less people are spending money on other things. You know, for, for many people who are still at home, you know, video games has been a wonderful outlet to play, to collect, talk to many friends where it's like, oh yeah, I've just, I finally got to beat this game or I finally got to uh, play through uh, some of my backlog. There's just been time to play video games, time for people to go through their video game collection. This has been kind of a trend that's been happening for a long time. You know, video game sales rising isn't anything new. You know, I've been collecting for a long time and I've seen prices on a steady rise for some, and on a decline for others. That's just kind of a typical trend, you know. As things move forward, people grow up with different consoles, you know. It's funny to think that the PlayStation 2 is now over 20 years old. You know, for, you know, previous generations, they grew up with Atari. And then it went to Nintendo, and then it went to PlayStation. And that is going to be a moving trend in which people will grow up with different things. They're going to remember different games and different game consoles and computers, and they're going to go back and they're going to reminisce and they're going to favor certain games over others, which means there's a certain percentage of those people that are going to want to revisit their video games of the past, or they're going to want to play video games of the past. And I think that that trend is going to change. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's also talk about stimulus money. At least here in the States, there's been stimulus money, extra money people have had to, to pay bills and rent, but also for entertainment. Well, I'm sure that some of that stimulus money is being used for entertainment. I've talked to businesses and they have noticed increase in sales, even with customers saying that they used some of their stimulus money to purchase video games. And so that is just truth. As the video game industry grows, it is becoming more and more a business for more people. And, you know, it's a livelihood. It's it's someone's job. It's not just, you know, it's just a pastime, you know, for more and more people, especially, uh, you know, the, the retro gaming market especially has exploded. And there is lots of people out there that are making a livelihood 
by selling video games. Let's also talk about the speculative market because it is part of this discussion. Now, I do not have a problem with sealed games. It is just part of the business. I have friends that buy and sell sealed video games. It's part of the market. It is speculative. It's, it's hoping that down the road, games will increase in value. And for the most part, currently, that is happening. There are some people buying sealed games up, hoping to double, triple, make a profit, knowing that down the road, that these games are gonna be harder to find and that there's gonna be a strong demand in sealed excellent shape. It is speculation. There's no guarantee and right now, there are some people that are making money and I'm happy for them. You know, I don't own a single sealed graded game in my collection. There's been several sealed games in the news as of, as of late, as of this year, that have gone for more money than a house. And so I think that trend is going to continue. I do think that there's always going to be a strong demand for popular video games or holy grails. And those prices of games are going to constantly be high. I think that is uh, not impervious, but separate from trends in the game market. Video game trend is always moving, as I mentioned before. And so uh, with this current surge, I think there's going to be a cooling down period. Yes, I said it. I think there's going to be a cooling down period. It's not going to be everything. It's not going to impact, I think, Holy Grails as much as in even certain sealed games. But I do think that once stimulus money has been spent and that once the pandemic has ended and more and more people are able to do other things, I think they're going to do other things. That doesn't mean that people aren't going to spend money on video games. I think certain video games are going to continue to be trending and increase in value, but I also think some other video games are going to go down in price. That's just how it works, okay? Uh, as people grow up and different people uh, get into the market and want to buy video games, physical video games, they're going to buy different things. Uh, you know, just an example, you know, my son remembers video games very differently from me. He doesn't have that physical connection uh, with physical video games, but he does reminisce about video games and spends lots of time. And for him, a childhood memory is Minecraft. Minecraft's a huge part of of his childhood and something that he likes to go back and play. I think those types of things down the road may impact the market. And so as more and more people do not grow up with uh, physical media, it'll be interesting to see if that does impact sales. Now, with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, there is a trend that's happening with video game sales and that's digital collectibles. And I know that this has been around for a bit. I know it's been in the, in, in the card industry, but it is kind of a growing trend where people are buying and selling these digital collectibles of things. And I, to me, that's really strange. I see that increasing, at least trending currently, and maybe in the near foreseeable future. So what do you do with all this? What do you do with that information? Game prices are high. Do you jump in now or do you wait? It all depends on who you are. Whether you're playing on a Raspberry Pi, you're emulating, or some other way of enjoying video games, just have fun, enjoy it. Uh, you know, if, it, if it's a pastime for you, if it's entertainment and it's getting you through the day with a smile, great, enjoy it, have fun. Uh, if you're in the business of selling video games, I wish you nothing but the best. I have several friends that own video game stores. I know this has been trying times. Just not being able to, to really sell uh, as we can safely open up again, that your business will return back to normal or better than ever. That is just my talk about the inflated game prices as they are now. What do you think? Do you think prices are gonna continue to be on the rise? Do you think there's a correction coming, a cooling down period, or a crash? I don't think there's gonna be a crash. I think when I say cooling down, I think that it's just gonna have modest gains. And I think there's gonna be some games go up in price and some games that go down. And that's just kind of the trend of things. I don't believe in a market that keeps going up and up because that's just not realistic. There's always a cooling down period, especially as time goes on. 
So that's my thoughts. What did you think? Thank you for the ongoing support and watching my channel. I discuss many different things. I talk about video games. I show video games and video game collectibles. Thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel and watching my channel. Hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.